Off to Damari Williams miss. Weaver, Kendall Weaver couldn't handle the pass from Johnson and Dawkins with a flush. Clear, we're glad you're with us here from the Moody Center in Texas's home opener, their first as an SEC member. Kendall Weaver for three. Two threes in the early going for Texas. He'll open it up for, for Kaluma there. A player that saw his production increase as the season went along last year. Dawkins was able to get ahead of Weaver. Got it poked away. Tried to save and couldn't. Another turnover. Texas is second. Dawkins with the Euro step draws the foul. Jordan Pope has two fouls in the early. But they can climb into the tallest member of HCU starting five. At AIA level at Graceland and a two-time national champion at Rock Valley College. The floor now for Texas as Jordan Pope takes to the bench. Larry, one of Texas's two transfers from Indiana State. Jason Kent, the other. Kaluma for three. And all nine. I like to see them start to get downhill a little bit, put a little more pressure on the rim. Um, you don't want to settle too much for threes. I'll vote that down right now. And we were right on the key. Pressure in the paint. Here's Damari Williams moving in on Shedrick. Shedrick got the Great block. Defense. All moving, open up the defense a little bit. Kaluma hit just under 35% from beyond the arc last season. Dawkins for three, got it. The Bryson Dawkins show, he the scoring. Moves in on Williams, finds Weaver in the corner. HCU basketball. Bryson Dawkins has all nine of HCU's points, but the shot clock winding down. Julian Matthews oh, looks to the floor and call for the wall. Great defense right there. Sunday and the loss to Ohio State with two points. Johnson, the miss from long range. Shedrick there for the rebound and the follow. That's what you want to see if you're Texas. Is. And Trent Johnson off the Dawkins miss. Coloma steps in and fires. Yes, five in the early going for the senior from Glendale, Arizona. Very big lineup out there right now for Texas with Kaluma, um, Kaluma, uh, Shedrick, and, and Kent out there guarding. It's an interesting lineup Coach Terry has out there, and that's part of having these preseason. First of three straight home games for Texas before they take on Syracuse in a couple of weeks in Brooklyn. Kent for three, yes. That is his first field goal as a seven from beyond the arc in the loss to Ohio State Monday. Buckeyes had 14 threes. Backdoor feed, but Kent unable to finish off the pass from Kaluma. However, a fail. Team with so many newcomers, just establishing that identity early is a, you know. Forming an identity takes a little bit of time, so he, he's not panicking at all. You, he recruited you here to the UT campus from Amarillo. He did, he did. I was I was lucky enough to have him come to little old Amarillo in West Texas. And <laughs> Shot clock winding down, and Dawkins just gets it off for three. Shedrick the tip, but they'll say it goes out last off Peyton Wright. Kent drives on Porter Basil. Now the shot clock down to one. Trey Johnson fires well short, and that's a shot clock violation. That's Dawkins, the first nine points for ACU, feeds Porter Basil for three. Battle in the tip. Here comes Johnson. Kent drives, hangs off the front of the rim, but a foul. Things that we can get on a team like Texas to build on our confidence. Kent's three of the Longhorns newcomers on Yemen and Weaver. Two of the horns are Here's Kent got the tip, and Johnson will take the ball away. Weaver hangs. <laughs> Off the Johnson assist. The more he's able to get his teammates uh, open shots, the, the, the more he's going to be open himself. What a pretty move by Dawkins to find Peyton Rogers, and it leads to average 12 points a game in Texas's two NCAA. Texas lead. Kent from the corner. Yes, his second three of the night. It's over on Kent who stays in front. Pierce Basil, Porter's older brother, leans in and scores over Larry. His first two. Larry, a little indecisive in call for the travel. Trent Johnson finds Brooks. Larry stays in front. Shedrick comes to help. That pass off Kent. Nine on the shot clock. Great help side deep in the corner. Dawkins drives. Weaver got his hand on the ball. 
Rogers had it for a moment. Shot clock down to three. The three pointer up and good. After all that, it's Dawkins with a stand four. Eight on the shot clock for the freshman Johnson. Crossover, pulls up for the elbow. Yes. <laughs> Silky smooth for one of the best high school prospects. It's gonna be a dog fight for Texas if they don't, if they, uh, you know, if they don't, if they don't see. In on Brooks, pulls up, in and out. Kent though with the hustle, pokes the ball away. His pass tipped but out of bounds, but because of Kent. Eight to shoot, Kaluma steps back, fires for three. Shedrick tips the offensive rebound to himself and flushes it down. Great job by the big. So far in the first half, 29 Monday record for a Texas freshman in his debut. He drives, finds Kaluma. <laughs> Jillian Mackey for three. Yes, 4-3 for the Huskies this half. To your point, Justin. The Horns are 65% from the floor. Mackey in traffic, pulls up and able to score from about five feet out. HCU is much different than most teams in Division <laughs> One as Trey Johnson lays it in. There's no collective at HC. In and out for Williams. Here comes Weaver. Johnson, Shedrick with the screen. Johnson the layup. Then an HCU ball. timeout. Trent Johnson for three. Got it. HCU screening is really giving. Four on the shot clock. Dawkins drives on Weaver. Hangs to Mackey. Short on the layup. Ball did not hit rim. So it's. Here comes Mackey on the run. Off Larry and off the glass and in. Huskies within three. Kaluma gets the step inside. Williams to the foul. Great job. Great job by Kansas State, where he was honorable mention all Big 12 last year, averaging 14 and a half. Weaver's been on Dawkins most of the time since his hot start, and Samuels has to hustle a three. Well off the mark with the shot clock winding in. Great defense. Trey Johnson, nine points so far to Weaver for three. In and out. Three rebounds, two steals. Kaluma spins and got held. Williams picks up the foul. 20 on the shot clock, 23 to go in the half. Trey Johnson off the end for three. For Dawkins. Two crossovers, pulls up for three. Well short. Trey Johnson, the defense to end the half. And in fact, Dawkins looks at Pope played sparingly in the first half, three fouls. The double on Shedrick, back to Pope. Finds Weaver to the rim. <laughs> Early timeout, HCU. More. Shedrick spins after making the grab too long, but a foul. Career 74% free throw shooter. Shedrick is activity. Uh, just putting pressure on the, on the offensive line. Over 13 points a game before D'Souza's return. So he is capable for to Pope. That HCU gets back. Porter Basil call for the reach in. Seven points in the first half. Drives him with the left hand around the rim and out. Grabbed his own rebound. Hangs. Scores. You love to see from Coloma. That's it. it is certainly high, but if Coloma can get better even on the defensive end, he would be a tremendous two way player. But Trey Johnson. Brooks gets to the rim this time and scores. First points for HCU this half. But it was nip and tuck for much of the first half. And just a seven point Texas lead at the break. Johnson this time from the paint scores again. Weaver nicely done defensively with the steal. Here comes Johnson again. alley -oop. Kaluma just out of his reach. Shedrick though, in and out on the layup. A late whistle and a foul. First 20 minutes by HCU. 
Down to seven at the break, but on a part of that, two early blocks. One of two at the line, but they pull out the upset win. Certainly in that first half had its share. Put some pressure on the air. Shedrick owns it, the shot, and then Weaver high in the air deflects the pass to himself. He'll take it to the rim, lays it in. <laughs> some really good teams, and right on cue. Weaver two tips this time. Johnson oh, took the glass and scores. 20 to two, the Shedrick, another turnover. Outlet to Weaver, saves, Kaluma on the floor, finds Cedric for the two. Texas has just settled in on the defensive end right here. It's, that's been the difference in the game so far. Kaluma gets in on the ax, up to 15. Miscommunications, Mackie made his cut, the pass goes behind. Tennessee, the Kentucky's, you know, they can get stops. They can. They can be competitive in games. On Yema, the swat from Bono Beach, Florida. Florida. Main broadcast in SEC. SEC Network will have a special broadcast. ABC with the main broadcast as Mackey buries the three off the rim. Trey Johnson tries with a left hand this time. <laughs> scores. Post feed, got a post feed. Longer he has in this game, but I like to see it. Shot clock winding down again. Rogers misfires from three. Samuels to the corner, the three up and falls. That's Porter Basil, his second three of the night. Draymond Mark missing his second straight game. A bloodline. Kelvin Sampson over at U of H, so mm -hmm. you can't, you can't. State. Next to him was Devon Pryor, the sophomore who has a left ankle injury out as well. Julian Larry fires and Julian scores. Larry. First two. Shedrick finds Kent down low. Gets the roll. It's cutting on the offensive side. Multiple times this season already. Rodney Terry has raved about the cutting ability of Kent without the ball. That's a uh, Shedrick did a good job finding him there. It's going to be interesting. You got Trey out of the game right now. Hard on the floor, got the tip. Pope on the other end scores. Approaching the eight minute mark in a 25 point Texas lead. Peyton Rogers for three. Craig Doty is really hot. But he looks he looks good out here so far. Riddle stays in front of Pope. Now Weaver gives it a try. He'll go to the line. Center, um, obviously, I grew up, I played in the Frank Irwin Center, which is. Jordan Pope spins and gets Jordan on the board. That's his first two, but he led Oregon State in scoring. Jordan Pope spins and gets Jordan on the board. That's his first two, but he led Oregon State in scoring the previous two seasons. Having guys in the right position, uh, those little intangibles is what you don't see at, in the stat sheet. Trey Johnson to the line. About one. Is there a more impressive part to his offensive game among if you're if you're trying to guard him? Because once he learns how to get to his spots, get shot. Squad, 6'11 freshman from here in Austin. Leads to the Trey Johnson three. Yes! He's at 28! His first offensive touch to the paint. Left hand, yes! <laughs> Top. These are good times of the game if you're the if you're the Longhorns. If you're a younger guy that comes in and gets these minutes. Some people look at them as trash back that side of the court fan. Pope scoreless tonight, of course, Tremont Mark missing a second straight game to begin the season. Can this Texas team, after the Mackey three, can this? The defenses are going to react so much to him with the shooting uh, ability. And so once they figure themselves out, I think they will be an elite, elite offensive team. It is a deep SEC as well. Of course, Texas coming from the Big 12. That and the SEC seen by most as the two best leagues. They center. HCU is just down seven at the break. DeAndre Samuels gets his first. 
Five to shoot. Vinson. Cole Bott finds Jordan Pope for three. Yes! Pope's first three. And he has 11 quick ones this half. Elijah Brooks off the mark. Mackey gets fouled by Bott. Crowd the thing I'm most impressed with is in, in these two games, maybe I've seen maybe two addition. It's gonna be it's gonna be really tough to, to stop that kid. Rodney Terry says it. Outscoring HCU by 24 in the second half. Future looks bright for HCU, but the night belongs to Rodney Terry and the down down one of their maybe a projected starter and uh, and still getting the job done. 23 straight home opening wins for Texas going back.